This is an NBC special news report. Brought to you by the Gulf Oil Corporation. Today commemorates a momentous occasion in the Philippines as Filipinos rejoice in their nation's sovereignty after receiving acknowledgement from the United States. This Thursday, July 4, 1946, is a cloudy sunless day as it is the rainy season in the Philippines. But this did not dampen the excitement building up towards the Philippine Independence Ceremony. This glorious event is currently held at the temporary Independence Grandstand in Manila, where thousands of Filipinos wait to hear the proclamation of independence in the stands. Senator Tidings, who sponsored the Independence Bill, and President Rojas were present. General MacArthur, who played a crucial role in the liberation of the Philippines during the Japanese occupation, has also given his speech. With this ceremony, a new nation is born. The most notable part of the program was High Commissioner McNutt's reading of President Truman's proclamation of independence. I am authorized and directed by the President of the United States to proclaim the independence of the Philippines as a separate and self-governing nation. began lowering the American flag in recognition of the independence of the Philippines. President Rojas, pulling on the same cord, began raising the Philippine flag with accompaniment of the Philippine National Anthem. The United States conquered the islands from Spain for 48 years and promised its people their independence one day. Now, Philippine military units, along with the World War II guerrillas, and Filipino veterans of the 1890s revolution have triumphantly marched to their own capital, fulfilling the pledge completely.